just finished going down the street of temples. I noticed a lot of them have graveyards. So I guess it's a popular place for people to be buried. These are these are homes now. These are kind of like where people live. I'm assuming anyways. I'm walking towards these red gates in the distance. I think this is where more people are anyway. I felt kind of awkward going into those temples. Everything was so quiet and serene and like I didn't want to disturb anybody or anything. So I just kind of took a bunch of pictures from the outside and yeah, people definitely live here. It's like mailboxes and stuff. Cool place to live. Here's the top end of some tombstones. Uh, the exposure is so bad. <laughs> looks like looks like maybe somewhere where you can pray up here. Usually the red gates are like for uh, Jinga or Jingu. Sorry, Jingu is like a bigger shrine where people uh, pray. I went to one of those in Sapporo. I think these are all the. That's where a lot of people are buried. I wish you guys could see all the intricate kanjis and how interesting everything looks. I'm not sure what that says, but. Jingu ni. I'm not sure if you're able to take pictures or not. I don't see a sign. But I'm going to walk in there and see what's going on. walking down this hill right now and this is supposed to get me to like downtown Hirosaki. I really don't know how to get home from here but <laughs> oh wow of course uh, it's still closed walking this way. The wind is like really strong right now. There's so many stores. Wakanana. Red 7. <laughs> They have like a tarp wrapped around like a little statue or something there. So I'm walking over to this place called Gyukaku. Gyukaku? Yeah, Gyukaku. It's uh, kind of in the distance there. It's Similar to the place I went with uh, Lachlan and his friends in Sapporo. 
I'm hoping they're open because I'm really feeling a crap ton of meat on a plate with a little bit of rice and a bunch of beer. It's about two in the afternoon. Spent uh, all day kind of walking around. The mountains are beautiful over that bridge. So I'm gonna cross the street. There's a McDonald's, but I'm not eating there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way. So I had a lot of fun downtown. I was just kind of walking around. Ended up meeting up with uh, those three kids. They're from uh, Aomori. And, or not Aomori, uh, Hakodate. We're going to, uh, uh, I think, university there. Really nice kids. They showed me around, sort of thing. Like, just so happened that they were heading to the same place I wanted to get to. There it is, Gyukaku. So we ended up just kind of hanging out, and they helped me get to all where all those temples were. So now, since I've been walking around all day, I'm really hungry. Get some food. So I've been having a great time in Hirosaki, actually. <laughs> I thought my short stay was going to be, um, you know, not very long, but I decided that I was going to go visit some temples, and I met a couple of kids that actually helped me out get there. It was really nice. Turns out that they were actually going the same direction, so that was cool. And uh, after that, I was trying to get the bus home, and caught the bus and was walking home and all of a sudden I seen a guy again that I asked for directions earlier in the day and uh, <laughs> he was like oh what did you do today and I was like oh I did a little shopping he's like oh oh what'd you get let me see right and I could tell like he was kind of half snapped he had a couple of sake and so I showed him and he was like oh amazing amazing he's like what are you doing right now do you have anything to do I was like no he's like oh please come in please come in so I ended up going to his place uh, actually, it wasn't even his place. It was his friend's place. And I'm in, like, his friend's house with him. And uh, we're all having beers and stuff. And we had a pretty hilarious night. Of, there was about five or six of us at the end. And, yeah, we were hammered. Absolutely hammered drinking, like, scotch whiskey. It was a blend. Uh, it was Japanese-made. And the next day, I, I woke up and came over to the same place. Uh, coincidentally, it's actually right near my place. And uh, at any rate, we got together again and I went to my first Japanese onsen. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my God, that was so cool. <laughs> There's like a million ways to wash yourself. Uh, tons of different baths. There's like hot ones, cold ones. There was a bath where it's like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. There was like electricity in the water. <laughs> so I like, I got in and I'm like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then I sat up nearby the electricity part and like my legs were seizing and I was like, oh, like my toes started curling. I'm like, oh man, oh man, this is so weird. But it was a hell of an experience. It's actually his place right there. So less than a three minute walk to his place. <laughs> so I'm about to go in, share some beers and I think there's a guy there that can play guitar. So we're probably going to jam a bit. But after the onsen, we got lunch and then we went to uh, a temple actually. And we had a good time going through Japanese temple. It was my first time there. And <clears throat> Hondo-san, he actually grew up in the temple. So this is his place right here. So I'll have to talk to you guys later.